Hello, my name is Frederick, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to use the nested if function in Excel. Nested if simply means combining two or more if statements, and it is used to test multiple criteria. In this example, we have a data set of student scores, and using a grading system over here, we want to assign grades to them accordingly. Since the if function can only test for one criteria and return a value if true or value if false, we have to combine two or more if statements. So using our grading system, let us get our grades. I am going to come in here in my cell and I'm going to say equals to if. I open my brackets. My first logical test will be if my score is greater than 74, if yes, I want to return distinction. If not, I want to combine another if. I am going to embed another if here. And I'm going to say, if this, if my score is greater than 60, comma, return good as the grade. If not, I am going to bring in another if to test for the third grading system. I'm going to say if my score, the same score, if it is greater than 45, comma, return pass. Now, if not, I'm just going to say return fail for all others. Return fail for all others and I can close my double quotes, close my first bracket, close my second bracket for my second if and I can close the final bracket and hit enter. Now you can see for Uchen score, he returns distinction because he scored 87 and it is above 74 on our grading system. So let's just test this out for others. I can copy down and you can see that for Uche Danjuma, he returns fail because his score is 35 and that is below what that is below that is in the fail region of our grading system so thank you very much for watching this video and see you in another video